Hello everybody, I'm back. And today I'm going to show you some interesting stuff laying right on my side. Um, some natural wonders. Some experiments that we're, I'm doing. Like, um, you have to rub this against your hair. And the ball stick. And then, um, you do this and the balls get away. You're not, I'm not even touching the bottle, but the balls inside move. So inside they're like uh, screaming, oh no, it's the finger, we have to run away. So yeah, when you rub it against your hair, um, it, I don't know how it works. See, very interesting. So the first experiment I'm going to show you is the lava lamp. So you can take it around when it has all that bubbles inside you can see so the the interesting part is um when you put tablets in there <clears throat> oh it's already starting to bubble even though i didn't put anything in there it's a mystery so you put half of a tablet in there and then watch what happens Oh, it's starting to bubble. And uh, just in case it's starting to get off the out of the bottle, I'll close it right away. So spill. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Okay, I'm going to close it. There we go. See? It's all bubbling inside. And it actually looks like lava a little. That's why they call it a lava lamp. So, I'll close it tightly, put it in paper towels so it doesn't spill, and set it aside. So, next experiment is, it's not really an experiment, but if you spin it, well, um, sorry guys, I gotta get this for a minute. Yeah, so you spin it and then it flies around. You could do it like this at the bottom. Yeah. So next is if you pour if you pour water in here if it has a net. If you pour water in here, then ma'am like this. You turn it around, you gently take your hand off, then um it won't spill. The water inside won't spill. Because what the water does, it makes a wall. It, so it gets between the little uh, square thingies. And then it, it like makes a bubble. So here's the square. And it makes a bubble over it. And the bubbles are so strong, they're able to hold a full bottle of water. But to get the water out, you have to tilt it. Then it will just pour out. Or you could keep it like this, but just flick it because you're breaking the water wall. That's between the squares. So I won't fill it up though because I have to do it outside. Because, yeah, it's a water thing. So next is rattlesnake eggs. Look at that. Caution, keep in cool place to prevent hatching. So, I'm gonna show you a trick. You have to, you can't be looking. I'm gonna do something. Here we go. So, check out the rattlesnake eggs. Did that scare you? So, you could uh, do a trick on someone and tell them. You have to keep practice to get put it. So, how it works is this. It's this. So, you roll this up. Like, um, 
10 rolls, then you carefully put it inside. Yeah. yeah. Then you tell someone, here, check out the rattlesnake eggs I got, and then, like, opening it, and then it, it, um, when they open it, it unrolls and makes the sound because it hits the paper inside. So, that's how it works. Oh, the lump of the lamp is set away. Oh, I could still see the tablet. See that right there? So, back to these, the bottle with foam balls. You rub it against your hair. And you can play with the balls a little, but they won't work if um, there is a, just a tiny bit of water in there. That's why they won't work uh, as much. So that's uh, a reason why they can't work. But to get the water out, um, you have to open it, uh, put it by the window, and then uh, all the water will evaporate out because of the sun. So if you liked all these experiments, Look at that. Um, if you liked all of these experiments, make sure to subscribe for my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.